with the legislature and, and executive agencies for the betterment of state employees, both current, future, and past, uh, for the betterment of taxpayers. And this is one example where it is certainly important for this agency, for the protection of our taxpayers and for the future of our youth, to, to be funded at a, at a good level. And so we recommend and support the agency's budget request. We also like to point out a couple of things. One is uh, thank you for the interim increase. Uh, we know that that wasn't lightly done, but it does. Uh, we do support the continuation of that, as well as looking at not only attracting new employees to the state, but retaining them. And if you don't retain your state employees, certainly you're losing your institutional knowledge, you're losing your experience, as well as you have an issue if you just uh, are raising salaries for new people, salary compression. And when you have salary compression and have somebody with experience that is making similar or less than a new person, that causes workforce issues and so turnover issues and time to fill and all the other things associated with um, the lack of a quality staff. We'd also like to, to point out, we know that there's been some discussion about adding some of the staff to the law enforcement supplemental fund, or as we call it, LICOS. And um, we may no position for or against that. That certainly is a policy decision for the legislature, but I would like to point out that LICOS is not able to add new groups to that plan unless it's actuarially sound. And at this point, based on the funding that is in place, which is a combination of state employee as well as state funding and court fees, it is not in a trajectory to even meet normal costs, which means pay for the, the current benefits or amortize the unfunded liability over 31 years. So it is considered actuarially unsound. And ERS does have a budget request to make it actuarially sound, um, but uh, those two things go hand in glove. And we'd like to just remind you of that when you're t having your policy discussions to keep that in mind that um, in order to do one, you need to do the other. Happy to answer any questions or to provide information, and thank you for your time, and have a good weekend.